It's December 2023 and in a completely unexpected turnaround by Microsoft, they have decided to extend security updates for all users of Windows 10 until October 2028, giving users another three years with their beloved Windows 10 system. All the details about this real unusual turnaround by Microsoft coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So Microsoft announced when Windows 11 was released a few years ago that Windows 10 would end its support on the 14th of October 2025. However, recently in a blog post by Jason Lesnick of Microsoft, it has been announced for the first time ever in Microsoft's history, they are going to extend support for consumers until October 2028. Now it's normal for Microsoft to give enterprise businesses the option to extend support for an extra three years after a system has finished. But it's very, very unusual for them to give consumers that option too. Now, in this blog post, Jason basically says that details of the extended service updates for consumers are limited and they are going to announce a firm plan at some point in the very near future, including costings for the service updates. So before we go any further, let's just talk about the end of support for Windows 10. Well, as I say, Microsoft have said that the end of support for the system is the 14th of October 2025. Now, what does that mean? That that means that Microsoft are no longer going to provide any bug fixes for any issues. They're not going to issue any time zone updates or technical support for problems that might occur. And unless you're prepared to pay for extended support, then they are not going to provide any security fixes either. But as I say, they are now giving consumers the option to pay for extended security updates for a period of three years. And this will be payable on an annual basis. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not taking this lightly and they probably will charge you a small fortune, which will rise each year during that three year period. So you've really got to have a real need to carry on using Windows 10. So what if you do opt for this? What does this mean for other programs such as, I don't know, for instance, Chrome, Firefox, Edge. Well, Chromium browsers in the past, generally such as Chrome and Edge, they have been supported for usually at least three years after an operating system has had its support retired. I think the only times that hasn't applied was I think with Windows Vista and I think possibly Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. But generally, the most popular systems such as XP and Windows 7 support has continued for at least three years. With Firefox systems, that's gone on even longer. I think support for that is generally now six years, although no dates are ever set in stone. So, but this is just going on previous history. Now, what about things like your office package? Well, if you're running Office 365, then you'll probably find that support for Office 365, new versions of it will be dropped quite shortly, but you will still get updates for the version of Office that you're running as of the 14th of October 2025. Now, if you're running Office 2021, which is the latest version of Microsoft Office at the time of recording this video, it is actually fully supported under Windows 10. And therefore, you should still get updates until at least, I think, the end of the decade. Not that you'd really want to be running the system without security updates until the end of the decade but the option is there. How about security providers such as Norton, McAfee, AVG, Avast, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, these generally offer quite a long support update service. History has shown that generally 
most antiviruses will still provide security updates for probably three to six years after a system has lost its support from Microsoft. So really there's no worries there, but you should be aware that your system becomes more vulnerable the older it gets to security problems. And also you're not gonna get any feature updates either. So you're gonna be sort of restricted as the years go on in what you can do in terms of keeping up with the modern day and age. So let's have a look at exactly what Jason had to say about the extended security update program for Windows 10. So he says, while we strongly recommend moving to Windows 11, we understand there are circumstances that could prevent you from replacing Windows 10 devices before the end of support date. Therefore, Microsoft will offer extended security updates. Like the Windows 7 extended security update program, your organization will be able to purchase a yearly subscription to security updates. The yearly commitment is renewable for three years, taking you through to 2028. Devices enrolled in the extended security updates will receive monthly security updates to keep these Windows 10 PCs secure. The extended security update program for Windows 10 will include critical and or important security updates. Extended security updates do not include new features, customer requested non-security updates or design change requests. Technical support beyond the extended security updates itself is also not available. For Windows 365 customers, extended security updates will be provided for the Windows 10 devices that connect to a cloud PC running Windows 11 at no additional cost. If you run a Windows 10 instance in Azure Virtual Desktop, extended security updates will also be available at no additional charge on those virtual machines. Consumption not included. He goes on to say, stay tuned for more extended security update program updates as we approach available including an extended security update program for individual consumers. So as I say, individual consumers are going to get that option. But what would you pay? What would you pay on an annual basis to keep Windows 10 running on your PC? Let us know in the comments down below. It would be interesting to hear. Now, as I say, this is is going to have more updates shortly and we will do a video as soon as we get the updates from Microsoft about this extended security update program for individuals. You can read the full report. There is a link in the description down below to Jason's blog post on this. So you can read the whole blog post if you wish by going down there. And like I say, we will have more updates as and when they come in. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below. Have a look at my Amazon store or if you're in the process of, of buying of, or subscribing to a VPN or need a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, we've got some links down there for you too. Donating, buying or subscribing really does help support this channel. It enables me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think might be interesting to your friends, your relatives, or your work colleagues, please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines. Thanks very much for watching.